What's up guys, Black Knight Rises here, welcome to another episode of the Manchester United Career Mode. So today we have a game against Aston Villa, and yeah, we're just going to get right into it. There's no, going to be no mucking about, as you can see, we're ninth in the table at the minute on three points, but some teams are... Uh, so, sticking roughly with the same team as we did in the game against Spurs, but putting Rooney in up top, going to rest the young man Martial for this game. Also going to bring Chris Small in for Daily Blind. No, just rotating the team. I'm actually going to bring in Marcus Rojo, my mistake. So yeah, we're just going to get right into it now. Uh, obviously, hoping for a better result than the 1-0 that we had against Tottenham. Not that that wasn't a good result, just we're hoping to score a bit more, I suppose, and just a better overall game, I suppose. don't really know what's going on with the audio in the background at the minute. There's just... Uh, it's like the skill game's going on in the background when we're trying to set up to play the match. That's weird. Maybe just a glitch, I don't know. Okay, so, as you can see, this lovely little loading animation that I've left in there for no apparent reason. So it's just basically talking you through the team. Okay, so, we're just getting ready to start the game here, uh, this, um, this is a weird start to a game to be honest, uh, as you will see in a moment. Just pay attention to the timer up top. So, a misplaced ball allows Morgan Schneiderlin to find Palinoglu. Misplaced pass, Han, Kalhanoglu, Rooney, 1 0. Well, the opposing manager will be furious giving Wayne Rooney that amount of space. A goal from Rooney. And I don't really know what to say. I mean, it's a wonderful through pass by uh, Kalhanoglu. I feel like he's going to be the, the starting cam this season, definitely. I mean, it's wonderful finish by Wayne Rooney. Don't get me wrong, it's a great finish. But I can't remember. I believe in the last episode we transfer listed him, and then he goes and does this. Pretty, pretty crazy how that works. Darmian. So then, just a few minutes later, or a few minutes game time, Darmian and Calhoun Ugly with some great football. Memphis Depay comes inside, um, goes for the shot, it comes off Calhoun Ugly, and then he turns and hits and manages to finish, giving us a 2 0 advantage against Aston Villa after only 8 minutes. Very lucky for Calvin to pick that up there, but a, a, a really good finish. Just the way he turns, sends it right into the bottom corner. I mean, it's kind of a half volley in a way, but it's it's a nice finish. So, just approaching half time here, we see Haka and Calvin again playing a brilliant ball to Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney turns fantastically and hits it low into the bottom left-hand corner to give us a 3-0 advantage. Massive improvement by the team at half, well, at half time so far anyway. Massive improvement compared to the Spurs game. Wayne Rooney just, you know, turning up this game, scoring two goals in the first half. So, 3-0, heading into half time. Um, so we're just getting to half time here. Uh, Aston Villa just sort of kicking the ball about really and then it goes half time. So uh, at half time obviously a three goal lead is exactly what you're looking for from your team. Six shots, four on target. Um, possession a bit questionable but Aston Villa may have had the majority of the possession, but they haven't even had a shot yet. 66% uh, shot accuracy and 86% pass accuracy, which is pretty good, to be honest. Um, 
just going to move into the second half. Or goes being scored for relatively the same place. Uh, I don't think we make any changes at half time. I think we just leave the team as it is. I thought about Martial, but I didn't. I didn't bring him on. So just getting back into the match. Hope he's liked that little uh, that little well, fade over there. A really to in this game. So what about United? once again, Hakan Kalvanoglu. He finds the next Morgan Schneiderlin, who has, shows a great bit of pace here, and then a wonderful side-footed shot into the bottom corner. Morgan Schneiderlin getting his first goal in Manchester United colours to make it 4-0 against Aston Villa. That makes me very happy to see that. Great pace from him actually. There was no one marking him and then just a wonderful finesse shot into the bottom corner. Just very well done and... Schneiderlin, Rooney and then Memphis Depay gets his first goal in a Manchester United shirt to make it 5 now. Um, a really impressive performance for the team. Great pass from Rooney, finds Depay coming in for the left hand side and it's a great goal. Just off the keeper's hand and into the bottom corner. So, I mean, obviously that's the end of the game. 10 shots, 6 on target. Aston Villa didn't have a shot the entire game. With 81% pass accuracy, which is pretty good compared to what I'm normally getting. So, going into the, the sort of long-ish part of the video. Uh, just, you know, dealing with transfer stuff. So obviously, as we saw in the last episode, uh, I did transfer last Wayne Rooney, I believe, and uh, did I think we had an offer for PSV. The team looking very tired there. As we look, Rooney is in fact our top scorer, uh, and but the top assist man in the Premier League right now is Hakan Kalhanoglu with three assists in two games. Wonderful play from the Turkish man. So, uh, the next part of the video I don't want to talk about. As you see, the transfer offers rejected by Real, but that's not what I don't want to talk about. This is what I don't want to talk about. This is just embarrassing. But I thought I would leave it in just so you can laugh a bit at my expense, because, you know, um, I find it quite fun, I suppose. As you see, I select men for and try and get these close range finishing. Um so just setting up some defensive stuff here. Uh I believe I select one on one defending for Luke Shaw. And then we finally we get into training. The main man, Capra Dossi. Uh, hopefully, going to be one of the better youth players we have. And uh, now he's got to laugh at me uh, trying to do the beat your man challenge. It does not go well. So, um, I actually do some of it quite well, but majority of it's embarrassing to be honest. I mean, I, I do them there to be honest, but it's just a bit of fun. It's just something for you guys to laugh at. That's terrible. Oh, that's I forgot how nice that looked. Obviously, once again, this is not live, live com. The live coms will return in the next episode, which I think I'll record after I record this video because uh, I'm really into the career mode at the minute. Obviously, I have to go back and go through that green gate. Um, yeah, and I'd just like to thank you all for the support on the career mode videos. Oh, yes, Calvin Ugly. Um, I really am having fun making them. I'm having fun making YouTube videos again. Oh, destroyed. Rip. So now the third man comes in, 
roulette. And we managed to get through the goal. Um, a D, not great. But this is the embarrassing part. Get ready to laugh. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> get ready to laugh. I wish I had the live reaction for this. Honestly, I do. Because the live reaction was fucking hilarious. So, as we see, this is quite a difficult challenge. The chip shots are not coming off. Uh, that one would have been nice if it was a bit higher. I do actually score one though. There we go. Right in the top corner. How they expect you to score that, I, I, I don't know. Hit the wood. This brings a whole new meaning to hit the woodwork. And then I hit the post. And then that happens for some reason. I don't know why. That, just a brilliant power shot by Memphis. Also, it's not a great performance by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, post again, wonderful. That would have been an absolute world there. Just can't get that chip shot right. So I decide to try again, it, it, it doesn't go any better, spoiler alert, it does not go any better than it did the first time. That chip shot animation, that reminds me of Di Maria's against, um, was it Leicester? I think it was Leicester. That's a, that's a great strike by Benfield. Um, so that's what made this episode a bit longer. I decided to try the training, and as you can see, it's 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 not going well. The first one wasn't bad, but this one's just embarrassing. <laughs> that that was a good finish, though. And once again, I get really unlucky with the chip shot, guys. Great finish yet again. And after that, I'm just like, nah, I'm good. Hey, let's see, he's finishing up a little bit. I just simulate the rest. Because, fuck that. Man. Um. Obviously, just gonna simp the next game as I always do. And it's, we've got Newcastle. Shout out to Robson Gaiman. Uh, we'll be playing Newcastle in the next episode. So, well, as you see, we've got the 32,500, 32, 32 million, 32.5 million that we asked for. Uh, we send out El Futuri on loan. And as you can see, another transfer offer. We send out James Wilson on loan to Millwall. Shout out to Zerka. And uh, that's about it. Apart from, as you will see, the the deal to sell Wayne Rooney has went through, and we loan Guillermo Varela to Stevenage, but Rooney's gone, which means, which means, we will be trying to sign a big player. We will be trying to sign Gareth Bale. Off of them, the seventy million. Mark and see what they say to that. Getting towards the end of this career mode episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had a laugh at how terrible I am at the freaking training. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe if you're new. I've been Black Knight Rises. Anything else I need to say? Oh, thanks to the sponsor of PDU Can Network. Uh, I've been Black Knight Rises, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.